everyone, my name's Angie. Welcome to my channel. Excuse the noise in the background. There's a lot of yard work and stuff going on. Um, today I've pretty much have been outside trying to clean up around the house and stuff like that. So I thought I would show you the entryway and some of our yard. This is the front door. Like, I didn't clean the top yet because I couldn't reach it, but this lower part I did. Got our summer wreath on the door and I like to put ferns out here because they do really well here. They end up getting really big. They don't like having tons of water and they like this spot for some reason. So did that today and sometimes I put potted plants going up the steps but I think I might just keep it simple this year. So most of our yard is, we don't have a lot of sod. It's mainly um, a lot of perennials. Uh, the people who lived here before had it landscaped and had all the stone and stuff put in, which we really like. It's just a lot of work to maintain it. There's a lot of pruning and a lot of pulling weeds and uh, getting rid of stuff that likes to spread around everywhere. So. We usually do that a couple times a year and it takes, I think it last year it took 43 bags of bark to fill in all the areas and stuff. So hopefully we won't have to do too much this year since we did all that last year. But I do need to come out and uh, pull some weeds and stuff like that. We've got some daylilies coming up and we might need to prune the Japanese maple again because they're kind of hanging low. I try to prune them where they're not touching the ground and stuff and my husband like does most of the pruning and trimming and stuff like that. For some reason these three bushes I thought they were azaleas but I'm not sure have like been dying there's weeds growing up so they look green but the bush itself is dead and I'm not sure why. So we may need to replace those this year. Like we trimmed all these bushes last year because they got really tall. It's just we we've tried to get we've had people come out and give us estimates but it's like crazy expensive. The prices all went up on how much they want to charge and you know I don't want to pay <laughs> we don't want to pay that much when we can do it ourselves it's just a lot of work to maintain it so some of the higher bushes we have like hired people to do um and so this this is I cleaned this door off too and got a firm for here this is the door we end up using a lot just because it's you know, through the garage into the kitchen. So I wanted that to look nice. And then we got these yesterday at Lowe's. I'm gonna put those on the back deck. I need to kind of clean up this area. This is my little fairy area here. So I need to get, I had kind of plants that kind of draped over it last year that looked pretty. I need to trim this bush back. We've lived here six years this month and this jasmine has been here every year. And for some reason it's just like half dead this year. I don't know why. Um, I'm not sure what, it's not completely dead. So I'm not sure what to do about it. Like it's been here a long time. It was here before we moved in. But like there's little sprigs of life here and there. There's some there. There's some on this side. But there's nothing on the top that's green. So I'm not sure if we should just pull it out, start all over with a new one or 
just cut the top part off. I'm not really sure what to do or why it died. We've never had that happen before. And the clematis is looking nice and full. And I've got my hydrain just starting to come up. These are new bushes I planted last year over here. Then we've got different perennials kind of along here. This is just kind of a natural area in our backyard, but like my husband and I both like things to look more orderly and this is just kind of stuff popping up everywhere. I need to get some flowers for that pot. We're gonna eventually put a Hopefully by this fall, put a fire pit up there. We've already got like a lot of the stone and granite for it. So this pathway will kind of lead up to the fire pit area. And we need to clean up all this. And normally in May I get flowers kind of around Mother's Day. I usually plant flowers around this fountain that needs to be cleaned out. We've got a lot of this lemon balm and it likes to take over. I'm constantly pulling that stuff out. It smells good, but it just pops up everywhere. Looks like that Japanese maple really needs to be pruned. That's gotten big. And then, these are hydrangea bushes. And then I've got some little wild strawberries growing in here. And then this is where I usually keep my potted plants. So I had a fern and geraniums in here last year, so I think I'm gonna do that again. And I'm not sure why my rosemary died, but that used to be rosemary. And then we try to keep a couple tomato plants. And I want to plant these hydrangeas. And then those are my daughter's plants. So, and I'll plant something here. But that's the plan so far just been trying to get the yard cleaned up and the house cleaned up and all that kind of stuff but uh, Thursday I'm gonna try to get this video up today today's Monday uh, Thursday I have my last travel video of Savannah and Charleston that's gonna go up then I'll come back on um, after that and talk about some changes that I'm gonna be making to my channel and I've kind of been praying about and thinking about stuff. Anyway, so that's the plan. And I hope you have a good week. And I hope you enjoy the video. For this recipe, you're going to need one pound of ground beef, pork, or turkey, or chicken. I'm using ground beef. You'll need 12 ounces of cabbage. I used a slaw mix for mine. Then you'll kind of stir that around. Then you'll need one fourth cup of liquid aminos or soy sauce. Two tablespoons of chicken broth. One to two teaspoons of garlic. One teaspoon of ground ginger. I'm using fresh. You can use two teaspoons of sriracha. I don't use that in mine. One tablespoon of sesame oil. Two tablespoons of minced green onion. I didn't have any. And then here I'm adding one teaspoon of sesame seeds. Then you just stir that around until 
the cabbage gets tender to your liking. I'm adding some pepper here, which could take like three to four minutes and then it's done. Just as a side note, the amino acids is salty, so don't add salt to this. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I'll see you Thursday for a new video. Bye.